Eagle Nation. It's not just Victory Monday. It's playoffs clinched Monday, and we're going to talk about that. But we do got breaking news. 12, I repeat, 12 Philadelphia Eagles have been put on the C-19 reserve list. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast, and today... We got a lot to talk about, but before we do that, Eagle Nation, help your boy out and hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and ding that notification bell so you know when these videos drop or we go live. Get that roots on, baby! Roots on three! Watch out three roots! Yes, the roots are growing right into the playoffs, and we're going to talk about that, but let's get to the breaking news. My goodness, 12 players. Roster move, the Eagles have placed linebacker Jannard Avery, defensive tackle Fletcher Cox, safety Marcus Epps, tight end Dallas Goddard, guard Nate Herbig, running back Jordan Howard, center Jason Kelsey, cornerback Avante Maddox, safety Ronnie McLeod, running back Boston Scott, linebacker Alex Singleton, and tight end Jack Stahl on the reserve C-19 list. <laughs> I'm out of breath from that. Now. We know we were going to probably rest our starters versus Dallas. Now, there's weird things that can happen in that game. Even if we don't win, which we won't if we rest our starters, because Jerry did come out and say, Cowboys are playing their starters. They're on punishment because they lost. <laughs> They're on punishment. Their starters are playing, and so they'll probably beat us. But there's still some weird scenario where we can slip up to the sixth spot. But the reality of it, and we'll talk about this later in the week, is we'll probably see the Rams or the Bucks. And just to tell you guys, low-key, I want the Bucks. We'll talk about that later in the week. So these guys should be back and good. However, I don't know how serious this is for some of them, right? If some of them just boom, 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 boom and good, or some of them get the symptoms that linger, right? What if some of these guys get bad symptoms, it messes with their workout schedule, so they really look rusty in the first round of the playoffs, right? We're like, did he drop that ball? Why is he running so slow? And it's really lingering sy symptoms. I don't know how this thing works, especially with all this. Cr I don't know. I just want to make sure these guys are good. And we can't let nobody rob us from what we work for. So, guys, rest up. Drink your fluids. Do what you need to do to not only get back. Because I know you're going to be back by two weeks. But I want the real you, the version that got us to the playoffs. If you comment on this video, put the prayer emoji with it. It always works for us in the play-by-plays. Now, before we get into us clinching, I want to talk about the thing I said on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at Philly underscore Mike 25. Twitter's crazy. But people are talking about the Eagles don't deserve the playoffs or we haven't beat anybody, blah, 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 blah. They're saying we only won nine games because we haven't played anybody. Our schedule was too easy. Well, let me read what I said. People act like the Eagles changed their schedule. It's been the same since July when a lot of people said we were a four to six win team. When the schedule came out, Eagle Nation, me, you, y'all knew, 9, 10. Some of y'all had 11, 12, 13, but I was 9, 10. And what was said was this by the others. This is a loss. This is a loss. They saw the so-called easy teams. And still picked us to win four games. It's not like they picked our schedule. We changed it for a new one and then got an easier one. Yes, now we can sneak by them. No. They looked at the Giants in Washington, Atlanta, uh, Saints, Carolina, Broncos. They looked at these teams and said they're better than the Eagles. Wrong. And we're just starting to hit our stride. I also said, all I know is this. Jalen Hurts and Nick Sirianni got better each week, and they also are not done getting better. This is year one. Year one. First year head coach, playoffs. First year starter, playoffs. Nick Sirianni got things he got to work on. Stop icing the kicker. Jalen Hurts got things he got to work on. Check the field a little bit more. That takes time. You don't start from September, play a year to December, 
and say, yep, I played enough football. I'm going to retire. I'm a Hall of Famer. No. This is a 23-year-old quarterback that won nine games, that is a playmaker, is a baller, has great leadership skills, and he does make beautiful passes when it's clutch time. He's a guy that I want in my locker room, on my side, with the ball in his hand, the Greg War pass. And if you watch him play and won't admit that he has gotten better, is he a fluent passer like A. Rodgers? Is he like Joe Burrows with just dropping dimes all the time? Deep ones. No, he got to work on things. He's not a finished product. He's not. But if you look around the league, you got other quarterbacks, the Baker Mayfields, the Matt Ryans, the last night Dak Prescott. You got other quarterbacks who they get support from their team as they make mistakes in year three, four, five, eight, eleven. Let Jalen grow. He deserves next year, and he's looking like with that mindset, a true do threat, he might be able to put it together and not just sell to guys like me and most of you. Might change the whole narrative. Let's just worry about the playoffs, though. We could talk about the future. That is bright. Three first-round picks. Money. Jalen. Nick. Talking about Jalen and Nick. Beautiful picture. Playoffs. Clinched. Two-headed monster. First time. Got to give them their flowers. Wait, did somebody say flowers? I think we did. Flowers everywhere. It was funny because Nick Sirianni talked today, and he was like, I got to tell these players not to look at stuff, right? When we're doing good, we get praises. When we're doing bad, we get the criticism. It's fair. And sometimes we probably get more criticism than we deserve, and sometimes we get more praises than we deserve. It is what it is. Like when people try to make fun of my roots and flowers thing. Ha, ah, it started out as making fun. Now, at least my subscribers, Eagle Nation that follow me, we love it. It's a part of the, the swag goo. Now, I do want to talk about this play. Again, the dot to Greg Ward was crazy. The fact that Jalen Hurts has some drives that were magical in this game. Again, it was Washington. We got to put everything in context, but I like it. Playoffs were on the line. Defense was struggling early. We couldn't convert on a short yardage at first. But this play right here in particular was crazy. Crazy because your great passers can't do this. And that's why I think how far along Jalen's arm has come is impressive with what he can already do with his legs and his playmaking ability. But let's not act like this play right here is easy. So Jalen Hurts hikes the ball. He gets stepped on by big boy Landon Dickerson. He's going down. Look at him. He's going downtown to be able to flick this ball. Imagine he flicks that ball and one of these Washington defenders get it. Or they tackle him because it flicks, it falls on the ground, Boston Scott got to jump on it. This is just where the playmaking ability of Jalen Hurts kicks in. Bing, bing, boom, boom, bong, bong. Deliver. So he gets it to him. And let's not forget, look at, look at Dallas Goddard. Look at Devontae Smith. Dallas Goddard with a key block. Little Devontae Smith. He's too little. He's too little. He's too little. Key block on the outside. Austin Scott with the, mind, with the great mindset to jump over him one more time. Again, could have been a disaster. Look at Smith. Look at Smith. Too little. Stop playing. Now, I want to hear your thoughts. <clears throat> about Jalen, Sirianni, the resiliency of this team, 7-2 and two down the stretch. I said that on my uh, Twitter thing. Um, I forgot to exactly read that part because I was talking about that. 7-2 and two down the stretch is not easy no matter who you play. 7-2 and two is 7-2. and two. Let me know your thoughts about this whole clinching. Who do you want to play? We, we're going to get deep into that, but let me know. But I do got to say this, guys. If you got here, you real supporting of the Philly Talk podcast. Um, a subscriber of mine, Daniel Boyer, who lives in Cebu, Philippines, was born in PA, moved there, has a wife and three kids. That tropical storm destroyed his house. He can only get at me on Twitter once in a while when he goes to Cebu City, charges up his phone, and he comes back. Here is the pictures of the damage. There will be a link in the description, a PayPal link. It's a GoFundMe. I'm going to donate. Listen, I know Christmas and all that came. Sorry I cut his face off. Christmas has came and whatever. 
if he don't got nothing, you know, it is what it is. Just offer your prayers to him. A uh, dollar, two dollars, anything helps. People have already been donating to it, so I don't know how far it's up. But I'm going to go ahead and reach out and throw something to him. Um, I would do it for any of you guys if it, it was legit emergency and stuff like that. Um, but he asked me to drop it in one of my videos, and I'm going to do it. Uh, Daniel Boyer, he goes by on YouTube. He comments. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what his Twitter handle is, but I did my due diligence. I researched it. You know, I see the pictures of his kids that match. He has a couple of videos on his YouTube channel of his kids and his wife. Matches all that stuff up. And, you know, the storm did take out 284 cities in Cebu, Philippines, and another place. Um, my prayers go out to him and his family. Eagle Nation, hook him up if you can. He rocks hard. Uh, until next time, y'all know what time it is. We are out. Peace.